Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show where we talk about football helmets, we build football helmets, we talk about new things in the football equipment world. We are going across the pond. We're doing a build for a customer of ours that also sends us some products. He's kind of a vendor a little bit too. You've heard of him, Haas Mask. He is a football player in Germany and he is a welder. Yeah, he plays for the Hamburg Ravens and he hooked us up with a couple of sweatshirts and t-shirts and yeah. thank you. So thank you, Michael, for the sweatshirts and the swag and Steve, he always sends little chocolates and I know. stuff that you can't buy in the US, which is pretty cool. We always give them to the guys in the shop. They always love it. They always like to you know, open the boxes coming from Germany because they feel like there's gonna be a surprise inside. So we are building a um, Hamburg Ravens helmet. The Hamburg Ravens, Michael works with us uh, in placing his order for his decals. We get the decals done from Healy Awards. If you want a custom uh, set of decals made up and you're outside of the country, just contact us and we'll help you out. Yeah, in, in, like in this case, where like in this case, they right. already had their artwork, they just needed some good quality decals made. By the way, you might see a whole bunch of face masks over here. We're gonna go over these in the end. These are some of um, Michael's or Haas masks custom designed face mask, so stay tuned for those. We're gonna be going over those at the end of the video. So what we've got here is one of the Speedflex helmets that we sell. This is a black uh, Speedflex in a large, I think, right? Yep, in a large. We're gonna be adding on here the SF2EG2 face mask, and we've got a Clear Sky Shock 1.0 visor. We've got the Under Armour clips here. Some people, Steve, think that these are upside down. There really is no up and there really is no down. Typically they are pointing one way, but with the eye guards, it complicates them. And fun fact, those clips work pointing up or down, guys. Interchangeable. And we use them however looks best with the visor in the particular mask. Right. So depending on the mask, depending on the visor, they can go up or down. And you'll see that exact same thing in the NFL and college when they use them as well. So first thing we're gonna do, do Steve, is we're going to remove the strap locks because we are converting, just for kind of aesthetics in this particular case, no real other reason besides that. Putting some of these little snap posts on here, and that's the name for the post that the snap goes into. We're gonna use a T-nut that's already in the helmet. We're going to be adding some of the Sports Star Flex adapters. They go right in here. You remove, when you remove the Speed Flex ratchet strap, you're going to get this little guy. This is a thumb screw. You take it off. You're going to use the thumb screw that comes with the helmet to put in the Sports Star adapter. We don't have a whole lot of decals to put on here, but we are going to be cutting this stripe. We're gonna start with the stripe here. If you haven't cut a stripe for the Speed Flex, a lot of people ask about that. Some NFL teams and colleges, some cut, some don't cut. In this particular case, we have decided to cut it because, Steve, that's what the Hamburg Ravens do. Yes, it does not affect the integrity of the shell. It does not affect when you get hit on your helmet. It's strictly an aesthetics look. If you like it, cut, cut it. If you don't, don't cut it. So the blue here in the D in the stripe is you know one of the team colors. And I'm gonna kind of basically just make sure that it's all centered first, and I'm gonna come back afterwards and kind of lay it all down and then cut it. Because I can't. And really nothing fancy when it comes to cutting these things. It's exactly what you would think. Just kind of do the best you can. And you'll notice, Steve, especially with the NFL teams, with big teams. Yeah, don't look close. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the map they, they as far are. as what you're getting. And I, <laughs> They're a mess. I'll just say this. I could have done a better job. <laughs> All right, so let's go with side decals here. So here are the Ravens heads. This is kind of pretty oversized, right? It's a, it's so a big we're going to kind of wrap the beak and the neck feathers just kind of around all of the pieces here. And it's going to kind of just work.
over there. Looks great. So, onto the back of the helmet. Our green gridiron decal, a US flag, and a Germany flag. So I'm thinking, let's put the flags. Hmm. And Steve, I think there's a global rule about the US flag, right? Yeah. Certainly there's a US rule. Well, the US rule states that if there is another flag, no matter what it is, the US flag goes on top. So we're gonna give the US flag a very prominent location here. And it is American football. It is American football. It's popular in the US. It's insanely popular in other countries, especially Germany. All yeah, the in UK. Germany, consistently, Steve, whether it's when we're looking at analytics from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, our website, Germany's number three, right behind the US and Canada. So instead of stacking these like we typically do because of the curvature of the helmet, we're gonna kind of put them a little off-centered from each other. Sure. See how that looks. Be like, oh, I see what you did. It's a little different. Let us know. Do you like this or not like it? So we need balance, Steve. We do need balance. So let's give some balance here. Steve, new product. This is very cool. Unbranded, shut, elite hard cup chin straps. We've got them in black and in white. So now if you want that unbranded look, you've got more options. At the most affordable price you'll ever see a quality piece of equipment that's unbranded. We have them on our website, 20 bucks. Yeah, this is the best chin strap from Shut. You know, they're higher end or they're, they're top of the line chin strap. And it's pretty solid. Let us know, do you want to be branded or do you want to be unbranded? Or I guess should I say not branded. But funny enough, Steve, in this build, we're actually gonna leave with the Riddell logos alone. And I gotta say on this build, it makes sense. Back to our handy Riddell quick release tool. Very cool. Under Armour visor clip decals. We've been doing this whole put black on white, put white on black. We kind of like the way that it creates like a little shadow. Um, we, we saw players doing it in the AAF and Tomas, our show intern, basically said, we should do this. And I said, yeah, we should. You know, Steve, a year ago, I would have said, no, not gonna happen. Oh, but I know you would have. The more I see it, it's one of those things, I kind of like it. <laughs> So we've got our white sports star clips here. We've got our shut uh, chin strap that's the Elite Hard Cup unbranded with black stripes. Love the contrast. We've got the black sports star flex adapters underneath here. We've got Under Armour clips. We've got a Shock 1.0 visor. We've got the SF2EG2 face mask and obviously, Steve, the um, Speed Flex. All black. This is kind of just your standard black color, size large, and a bunch of decals here on the back. So let's see how we look here. Oh yeah. How's that feel, man? I think I'm ready. Looks good on you. Let's I'm see. ready for Germany. It really came together nice. I would actually say that this came out a little better than I thought. I was concerned with how big those decals were, uh, but it looks great. You know, when you're working with big decals like this, Steve, you need to just kind of be patient, start from the center, work it to the, you know, from the center out all the way around to make sure you don't get any bubbles in there. But once they go down, they're good. Looking out through that visor, what is what would you say it does as far as the light? Does it change the light? Well, I'll say in here, I got lights coming at me from all different angles. I do see a little bit of glare on this visor, but I think that I would see that on any visor in these in this kind of condition because we're in their studio. We've got lights coming in from from all over the place. Um, but you know, it it's you're still seeing clear. Any of the clear options is the way to go. I wouldn't recommend those dark visors. 
uh, under low light conditions because it's going to be harder to see. But hey, Howard Stern wears sunglasses in studio, so if, you know if it yep. works for him, it really depends on you and how sensitive your eyes are. And if you have your team's artwork and you're looking for some quality decals, let us know. You can email us. Here's the email, and uh, we're happy to help you out. So just wanted to send a big thank you again to Michael Haas Mask. Um, and we've got some masks here that he just happened to send and we've got Coder. These are gonna be going out in the mail here any day now. Um, but this is just to kind of show some of the quality of the work that he does. And you know, this one is an orange mask. He's obviously put the, a, a ribbon on here. We've got double ribbons. This is the first time I'm seeing a double ribbon mask. This is going on a lightweight speed face mask. We got a minute and a half. Here we've got, I think he's got a name for this one. I just don't want to know what that name is. I don't recall. Uh, this one, we've seen this design a few times, so this is obviously pretty popular. It's one of my favorites. This guy is a inverted version of the um, the Big Grill 2.0 and you know that Ray Lewis made popular. I think that they call this one the train just because the, the way that the bars come down, similar to the front of an old schooly train. Mm -hmm. Here we've got the Fleur de Lis, which I think is fantastic. I think we're gonna get some of these made just for those Saints fans out there that wanna put them on one of their collectible helmets. And last but not least, Steve, this is kinda your Peyton Manning version of the uh, Speed Flex. These are all, these, all of these masks have been um, modified, so they're not certifiable to go out on the field anymore. So if you are wearing these on the field, your all liability is on you. If you, you know, we expect that most of these types of modified face masks are going to be going on collectible helmets, um, but they all look fantastic regardless. That's right. And in, in the meantime, we appreciate you watching. If this is the first time, welcome. Leave your comments and ideas below. We do read them.